Good morning. It's really cold. Uh, it's just after 6 a.m. in the morning here in Japan. I'm in Narita, uh, just outside the airport hotel that we stayed at overnight last night. And I thought I would go for a little walk, um, partially to enjoy the nice cold uh, winter, but also uh, to go check something out, which is pretty interesting and I think maybe unique to an airport anywhere in the world. Let's go for a walk. So Narita Airport's the airport that a lot of people will fly into from around the world when they fly into Tokyo or around the Tokyo metropolitan region. Big part of that is that the uh, main Tokyo airport, which is Haneda, which is still in operation, uh, became really super, basically small. So the government came in and said, we're gonna build an airport and we're taking all of this farming land. And they basically just took it with no consultation and said, we paid you money, what do you want? Consequently, a lot of people got cranked off by that. Um, as a result of that, when they've tried to do airport expansion or things like that, there's been a lot of criticism. And to this day, there's still protests and things like that that happen about the airport. So this is one of the interesting things is that you have obviously a lot of local shrines and things like that. Uh, around Japan and you can move them but sometimes do you really want to and that leads us to where we're heading today So I've just come out of the tunnel and now technically I'm not on the airport land. Well, I think I am on the airport land, but technically I'm surrounded by the airport and here come the cops to have a look at me. I have actually read online that a number of Japanese bloggers and things have actually come here to have a look and the cops come and question them and ask them. So we'll see if that happens today, but I probably won't video it because I don't want to get too much trouble this is a vegetable field and in the distance you can see the airport and there's a sign here saying that uh, there's a private road so you can't come in here to take photos of planes entry is prohibited but like that's the farm that's the airport and that's another field of the farm So just walked underneath another taxiway, that's the word for it, not a groundway, taxiway. And the sound of aeroplanes is getting louder, much louder. I think technically I'm not supposed to be filming here, but oh well. So this is another farm right next to the runway landing lights for this runway. Ah, I can see our little intersection up ahead that we need to turn to. So I might cross here where it's not completely blind corner. If you got tired of walking, there's a bus stop here. Uh, which comes about once every two hours. I think I'll walk. It was only about a 20 minute walk, so I think I'll just walk. Here we are, Toho Jinja. Let's cross the road without getting hit by anybody. literal tunnel, security tunnel through the airport and there's a plane. Maybe I should have bought earplugs, I'm not sure. 
I might be showing my age here, but this reminds me of the original first person shooter video games where you just had to run around in a maze tunnel. These nine, ten foot high walls of steel with looks like tension security wire on top and on the other side there's barbed wire duplication of barbed wire fence and I did read on Japanese blog that at one point in time when there's certain things going on they have security guards patrolling uh, or police patrolling around to make sure people aren't entering like here's a security guard up here I can see through the fence This is the shrine. This is Toho Jinja. Toho Shrine. So there's the place where you would wash your hands, but they don't have water in it. And that's the actual shrine itself. And here is the Tori that says Toho Jinja. really lovely camellia tree here that's in full flower or just finished full flower as well which is really nice So here on the map, you can see the second runway and the shrine indicated at the end of it. Zooming in a little bit closer, you can see the two farms that the airport has been built around and the location of the shrine. And zooming in again, you can see how close the shrine is to the end of the runway. I'd literally just recorded a conclusion and saying that, you know, we haven't seen many planes probably because it's too early. This is like the minor runway. It was the second runway added in 2002. So maybe, you know, because of the limited flight, flight frequency, because of Corona and all that kind of thing, maybe we wouldn't be able to see a plane. And I was just getting ready to leave and heard the plane coming over and we just saw that. So that's awesome. Um, so this is like a maximum security shrine at the end of the runway at one of the busiest airports in the world. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.